Hello, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on this segment of Let's Talk Yo-Yo, we're gonna be looking at a brand new yo-yo from a brand new company, Atmos Project is the name of the company, Atmos Projects. And uh, this is their debut yo-yo, the Cloudberry. Let's get into it. All right, first off, um, I saw Atmos um, on Instagram. They have an Instagram account, which I'll have a link to in the description to all that. Um, they have a website now. This was, I think, I think it might have been before they had an actual website. They were still kind of working some details out in their prototype. And instantly, when they started posting pictures of their first yo-yo, uh, the Cloudberry, I was like, wow, that looks right up my alley. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know very well that I'm a big fan of organic yo-yos and uh, just like the comfortable feel. It has that little bit of a nostalgic feel. But I also like organic yo-yos that have that modern performance sort of edge to them. It has not released yet, by the way. So this is kind of a nice early take on that. So if you're, you know, if you're one of those people who really need more details on a yo-yo before you buy it, well, here you go. So when you go on their website, you will also find uh, a little write-up on this yo-yo. Not just a little write-up, but like quite a bit of the process behind that and all that went into it, which I think is is pretty cool. Uh, you get to kind of see a little bit of behind the scenes. So yes, it is that organic sort of simple functional form, but also wanted it to be that that like sort of that, well, you know, something that has a little bit more precision to it as well and, and some kind of uh, you know technicality with it so that you could still perform fairly well with it uh, and it can still match up with uh, yo-yos that are in that more sort of you know uh, performance uh, category. The kind of words that are associated with this yo-yo from the makers are uh, flow you know flowy right it's kind of a a term that a lot of times people throw out but maybe isn't always true um but that's kind of the term flowy and nimble that's another kind of million dollar word there as well um so yeah we're gonna see if that fits that category but for now before we actually throw it uh, and talk about that now i've had it for a while so i can kind of talk a little bit about it and extensively but we'll, we'll wait to that for the the throwing it section okay for now let's take a look just at the profile of it um, it is a fairly wide organic, and you can tell the, the gap is nice and flared out. I like that step in there. It has a little bit of a cut in there, just kind of an undercut. Not deep, uh, nothing like you've seen in some yo-yos, like from G Squared Yo-Yos, for instance. Um, like something like on the Life, it's not nearly that deep, but it's a little bit there that you can definitely see where the gap itself is performance as well. You know, I was doing so well here with noise, and all of a sudden I got some cicadas just were like, hey, you're filming. Let's just ruin your footage. Okay, anyways, we'll see how well this 150 uh, high pass filter works. Okay, all right, anyways, back to the profile here. Um, so yeah, you can tell it's very wide, but it's gonna be really nice and comfortable on that catch. Okay, um, and then the domes as well, you know, um, have, a, a nice flat area, nice, just one little single ring there, just aesthetically pleasing, but flat. So you're not gonna get the longest axle in the world, but it's, I don't believe it's very short. Uh, I wanna say it's maybe, maybe eight millimeters. I can double check on that maybe and put that in the description. Um, it does have a nice little IRG there, so you can pop that up and do that. Uh, it should finger spin okay as well. You have plenty of space there. Um, and I don't think that, was, that little machine cut there is gonna, gonna bother as far as the finger spins concerned blast is pretty nice there as well i like that clear finish i believe there's another at least one other color uh those were kind of the protos it's still in production the production's being finished and getting there uh, by the way this is i didn't realize this when i first was messaging them but they're actually out of singapore um so it took a minute to get to uh, columbus ohio but here it is um so they're, they're out of singapore i'm not sure exactly where he's machining um, and what shop he's using, but it looks like a lot of the same shops that maybe somebody like SF or others or G Squared Yo-Yos uh, might also be using, but I'm not positive. Maybe he'll disclose that. Maybe he already has that and I missed it somewhere. Talk about again that, you know, since we're looking at it with the string there, you can definitely tell there's a little bit of a gap there. So even for horizontal tricks, which typically most people don't gravitate towards something organic for something horizontal, kind of where you're working off the plane, 
a lot of times you're going to get a lot of drag there. So uh, again, really good shape, nice and comfy, but particularly within that gap, you're going to see where those performance features are, where it's going to be able to stack up, hopefully, next to uh, some of the others. All right, let's go ahead and actually play it and see how it plays on the string. Welcome back with the Cloudberry by Atmos. <laughs> um, and uh, I had to look up what a Cloudberry was. I thought maybe it actually was a fruit, and it is. This is what it looks like, by the way, if you don't know what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of a funky little fruit. I guess it's pretty tart. Never had one. I don't think you could get them in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, if I ever find one, I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly what this yo-yo is named after or if it's just kind of reminiscent of sort of the feel on the string, possibly. Uh, it is sort of, it is pretty floaty, actually. You can tell from uh, a throw. Uh, and, and a lot of that has to do with the width and the diameter of that yo-yo. Uh, but it's got a nice amount of float to it. You know, my, my favorite yo-yo, maybe you don't know this, but if you've been watching my channel, you may know this. My favorite yo-yo right now uh, is The Life uh, by G Squared Yo-Yos and ART uh, we, that we collaborated with. And um, it's just great. And this has a lot of that same kind of, those same kind of features for me. Uh, things that I really love about The Life. It has that organic feel, that's pretty obvious. Um, but it has a little bit more of a float quality to it, a little bit more like something uh, like the Grail, which I really love that yo-yo as well, uh, and had a lot of influence on the life as well. But I like, I like the way this yo-yo plays quite a bit. Um, it's very stable, you know, what you have that, that, that thing you're looking for in a performance-based yo-yo, and it's also got that nice float to it. It's just a great, great, comfortable yo-yo. I mean, a beautiful debut from Atmos. I've seen many, many, many yo-yos over my time of yo-yoing, and I've, I've played with many, and I've, I've reviewed quite a few, of course, and I just have that intuition, that experienced intuition. And when I saw this yo-yo, you know, before even actually receiving it in the mail, I felt this yo-yo has that it factor. And it does, it really does, for me at least. And I guess that's a little subjective, right? But I feel like it just, they were they went for a goal and they, they nailed it. So whenever it uses those terms, floaty and, you know, and, and nimble and so on, it's accurate. But enough talk about that. Let's actually go ahead and prove that, some of those qualities by throwing some of those standard tricks. I just did a couple wraps here, that's four and I don't feel like it's losing any spin times. I did three under. Um, so that gap is really solid. I have a little tree here, but nice and wide too. Something like Eli Hops is gonna be good for it. Uh, binds are really solid. Um, I'm not, not feeling like I'm losing any of that. Uh, spin times are really, really good as well. Um, it's a nice full size yo-yo. It also, I meant, I forgot to mention while I was talking about it sitting down here that it's constructed of 70, 60, Eight aluminum so it's fairly dense um, aluminum so it's not your standard 6061 all right now um, talked about performance and sort of you know um... oh my goodness all right so you know me I'm not good at horizontal I don't really try to be good at it and so I'm not the best person to speak about it but I know for review purposes a lot of people want to know what it plays like off the plane okay so i do know how to do some basic stuff right um and i can tell you just from those sort of maneuvers maybe not extended right but just from that you can tell that this gap here works really is going to work really well uh, and be very conducive for horizontal play so if you're worried about an organic um being able to kind of push you know for that performance sort of uh, tricks, you know, something like horizontal, no doubt this is going to hit that. Gap is really nice and wide and forgiving. For finger spins, it's going to be okay. It's going to kind of roll around there, but it's going to be just fine. Finger spins are great. Um, it's doing really well. It does have that IRG that is pronounced enough that it's really easy to kind of pop it up without feeling like you have to tilt it at all. 
it has a quite a bit of that just sort of comfy feel but of course that blend talked about in my last review i think it was my last review of like what would it be a, a good term for something that's comfortable and competitive and uh and that's kind of this blend here that's that middle ground i feel like they did a really good job of finding that balance something that's gonna be comfortable in the hand comfortable in a catch uh, has that that just comfiness of an organic yo-yo uh, but also nice and floaty nice and nimble and the gap's gonna be really performance driven as well this is a win a great start i think for atmos projects i'm excited to see how it's received and uh, excited to see um, their next projects if this is their starting point. All right, that's gonna be it for my talk about Cloudberry by Atmos Projects. Until the next one, later.